This video will cover the reactions of alkanes. Alkanes are not very reactive, so these reactions often require high temperatures and large inputs of energy to occur. Additionally, because alkanes are not very reactive, there aren't many reactions of alkanes. We will only be discussing two. The first reaction that we will discuss is called combustion. Combustion is a rapid oxidation at high temperatures that converts alkanes into carbon dioxide, water, and large amounts of energy. This is the reaction that powers your car, the combustion of gasoline. An example combustion reaction is the combustion of propane, which when combined with oxygen in the presence of heat, yields carbon dioxide and water. You'll notice that this reaction is balanced, and in general, the way to balance a combustion reaction is with the following. An alkane with the general formula CnH2n plus 2 is reacted in the presence of excess oxygen and heat to give n moles of carbon dioxide and n plus 1 moles of water. The combustion of alkanes is actually not a very useful reaction except in the case of powering vehicles because it's hard to control, it produces a lot of energy, and the carbon dioxide that is produced contributes to pollution. The second reaction we'll discuss is called halogenation. Halogenation is the reaction of alkanes with halogens to form alkyl halides. An example reaction is the halogenation of methane using bromine and an input of energy in the form of heat or light. We're not going to worry about balancing this equation because it produces so many different products. The reason it produces so many products is because we can have the replacement of one hydrogen with bromine, two hydrogens with bromine, three hydrogens with bromine, or all four hydrogens with bromine. We also get as a byproduct HBr. This reaction is also hard to control, and we get a mixture of products. We will discuss the mechanism of this reaction in more detail in a couple of weeks.